If federal authorities have targeted you for a crime, you've got to be thinking about how are you going to prepare for a sentencing hearing, even if you intend to prevail at trial. My name is Michael Santos. I didn't understand a lot of that when I got arrested, and I made just a series of bad decisions that resulted in me getting a 45-year federal prison sentence. You want to do better. And one of the ways that you're going to work to do better is to start thinking about not only your sentencing hearing, but all the other aspects of your life going forward. And what you have to do is a series of steps, including preparing you know, before you um, have an adjudication. So if you, if you go to trial and you prevail and you're acquitted, none of this matters, but you've got to prepare well beforehand in case, just in case. Most people plead guilty to a crime. I did not plead guilty to a crime, which is why I got a much longer sentence. I just didn't understand the system. I want you to understand the system and you'll be able to make better decisions going forward. One of those decisions will be how do you craft a good character reference letter or rather a character reference letter campaign. And I'll talk about that in another video, the actual campaign. But I want you to think about what you're trying to elicit. You're trying to elicit a body of, of people, a group of people who know you, who like you, who trust in you. And they're not going to talk so much about um, your crime. In fact, they shouldn't talk about your crime at all. What they should talk about is you as an individual because they know you. And they should talk about your character, the types of things that you have done that are good for the community. That will not only help you at sentencing, but it will help you later as you, if God forbid, you go into the prison system and you have to work toward advocating for some type of liberty at an earlier stage, whether it's through the prison system, whether it's through some type of uh, compassionate release motion, or maybe even it's a petition to the President of the United States where you're looking for a commutation. When I was in prison, these were things that were not very likely to happen. In fact, there's still extraordinary grants of relief. There are post-conviction remedies. But you, if you're going to pursue that path, you definitely want to have a body of character reference letters that will support you. I mean, look at what happened relatively recently. In early 2024, as the Department of Justice has reported, uh, the pardon attorney, um, Elizabeth Oyer, visited a federal prison in Dublin and, and, and got to interact with people in prison. And, and what you want to do is you want to make an impression on these people who have enormous discretion or can influence the possibility of you getting out. Our team is always working on self on advocacy campaigns that will encourage people, encourage the system to change so that people can earn freedom. In fact, uh, <laughs> that's the title of our book, Earning Freedom. You know, we're always working to try and advocate for mechanisms that will allow you to work your way to a higher level of liberty through merit. Character references are an essential component of that plan, along with your release plan, along with your sentencing narratives, along with all of the preparations that you do. Just recognize there's there you, you should never, it's never too early, it's never too late to start sowing seeds for a better outcome. And I encourage you to start preparing today. You can do so by reading our article on character references. We've got a course available at Mitigation Arc Courses on character references and campaigns that includes templates and sample letters as well. But learn as much as you can. I'm going to cover a little bit more of that in the next video as well. I'm Michael Santos, and I believe in you.